Today in our 2008 Chrysler Town & Country, we'll be looking at the most popular hitch options. On the top, we have a Class 3 Kurt, part number 13364. The second one here, we have a Class 3 Draw Tight, part number 75579. Third one here, we have a Class 2 Draw Tight, part number 36455. And finally on the bottom, we have a Kurt Class 2, part number C12264. Now, the difference between our Class 3 hitches here, the Kurt will stick out a little bit further as far as where the receiver sticks out from the bumper, so it'll be easier to access than the draw tight here. The draw tight will stick in about an inch more inside the bumper area, so if you have uh, some hitch mounted accessories, you may want to keep that in mind for a bumper clearance, Kurt will be a little bit easier for that. However, the draw tight hitch here, you may notice there's two holes on it. We have our standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin hole, and then we have a J-pin stabilization device hole. What a J-pin stabilization device is, if your hitch mounted accessory such as your bike rack or your cargo carrier doesn't have a device built into it already to eliminate the shake and play uh, inside the receiver, the J-Pin stabilization device will eliminate that. We have those available separately on our website if you need to purchase one. Now the draw tie hitch, since it is a little bit more recessed, if you're just going to be using it occasionally, the draw tie is the way to go for the Class 3 since it's more hidden than the other option of the Kurt. But if you're one thing that's going to be easy to use for an accessory and you need some more clearance, the Kurt's the way to go there. Now for the Class 2 hitches here, the Kurt's going to stick out a little bit further than the draw tight once again. And they, both these hitches have our standard inch and a quarter opening. They utilize a half inch diameter hitch pin hole instead of the 5 eighths that the Class 3s use with their 2 inch opening. The Kurt here, we have a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating and a 400 pound tongue weight rating. If you were to step up to a weight distribution setup on your trailer, the weight capacity increases to 5,000 pounds and the max tongue weight rating increases to 500 pounds. Obviously, you'll want to consult with your owner's manual of your vehicle to see what it's rated with for all of the hitches to make sure that you don't exceed the capacity of the vehicle even if the hitch is rated for a higher amount. Now, the draw tight here has a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating and a 400 pound max tongue weight rating. Again, like the Kurt, if you were to step up to weight distribution, it steps up to 5,000 pounds max gross trailer weight rating and 500 pound max tongue weight rating. The Class 2 draw tight here has a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating and a 300 pound max tongue weight rating. Weight distribution is not able to be used with this particular hitch. Now, the Class 2 Kurt here on the bottom has a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating and a 350 pound max tongue weight rating. Again, since it's a Class 2, we cannot use weight distribution on this particular hitch. Now, for all of our hitches here, they all utilize the basic same design of a loop for our safety chain hooks. All about the same. The only difference being uh, is the size on the Kurt Class 2 on the bottom. It's a little bit smaller diameter. So if you have a smaller hook opening, it'll go in easier on this versus the other three hitches. But every single safety chain out there, for the most part, should fit without a single problem on any of the hitches here. Now the two Kurt hitches we have here the top one and the bottom one here. They recommend that you use a stabilization strap if you're using the hitch for a non-towing application such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier. The two draw tights that we have here in the middle, you don't have to use one of those. The stabilization strap is available separately on our website. If it was up to me and I'm purchasing a hitch for my vehicle, I would want to go for a class three here versus a class two on the bottom just because it opens up more options as far as hitch mounted accessories go, as far as the bike racks or the cargo carriers, there are a lot more options available for two inch receivers than an inch and a quarter receiver. Also, you have the higher weight capacity for towing a trailer. As far as the two class threes that we have here go, myself, I'm probably more inclined to go for the draw tight, just because it is a little bit more recessed and it does have the J-pin stabilization hole here in the front. So it would make it a little bit easier to take that shake, play, and rattle that could be annoying in the receiver for the accessories that you're using. You don't have to listen to it while you're going down the road. 
Another reason why I like the draw tight a little bit more over the Kurt is because you don't have to use the stabilization strap. Now, if you already have a lot of inch and a quarter accessories and you would like to purchase a class two hitch over a class three hitch, personally, I think I would go for the draw tight here, again, because it is a little bit more recessed and you don't have to worry about having the stabilization strap again like you would on the Kurt for non-trailer applications. And that completes our look at the most popular hitch options on the Chrysler Town & Country.